And now, the Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We are dealing with a lot of changes on the way here in West Texas. We're already starting to see dew points dropping off a little bit closer to average. 53 degrees now for Odessa Midland, but average for this time of year is about the upper 30s. Now, keep that in mind, but also pay attention off to our east. We're seeing much, much higher numbers, 66 for Austin. Now, average off to the east is a little bit higher than what we have here in West Texas, but either way, what I'm trying to show is this big green pool right here showing a lot of moisture. Now, we've got a cold front ready to pass through West Texas and you combine that cold front, a couple of changes there with a lot of that moisture and we've got a few things happening in the forecast. First of all, fog chances coming on back for tomorrow morning, but in addition to that, that cold front really shaking up our temperatures and coming with a pretty significant chance for some thunderstorms. Now, I think most of that's going to be setting up off to our east. Remember, that big green pool is going to be way outside of West Texas, but even still, we've got a chance to be dealing with a little bit of those thunderstorms developing possibly tomorrow afternoon, overnight tonight, but once we get to tomorrow morning, we will likely see a little bit of fog. This model doing a pretty good job lately, showing three-mile visibility in Big Spring by 7 a.m., 4.6 for Odessa Midland. Generally, not hazardous conditions here across most of the basin, but notice this big white pool right here, Ozona at 0.6-mile visibility, Dryden at 0.5. That means, well, it could get a little bit foggy. Driving situations could get a little bit dicey for tomorrow morning, so make sure you give yourself a little bit extra time to get to work because if you do encounter the fog, best thing to do is actually go a little bit slower and don't use your high beams as well because that'll reduce your visibility even further. Now, that cold front coming through really ready to shake up our temperatures. Yesterday at 83 degrees, today at 84 degrees, not too bad. We've seen a lot of sunshine the past couple of days, a lot of warm temperatures, but this cold front is coming through with some very, very cold air. Now, I've placed it right about where it is at the end of the satellite loop, and you can kind of see a little bit of rain developing just behind it and a little bit of snow even in the mountains. Now, I do not anticipate too much in the way of snow here in West Texas, but it could kick off some rain chances, and at some of the higher elevations, we may be dealing with a little bit of freezing rain. In fact, we're already seeing enough moisture right now to kick off some of those showers developing parts of southeast New Mexico, the Van Horn Mountains currently, and switching over to the model. Notice it does a pretty fair job, matching up very, very well with the cloud cover, but not quite picking up on those very light showers, which are very, very light anyway. And I think it does a great job of catching up. Now, overnight tonight by around 9, 10 p.m., we'll start to see that cold front pass through parts of southeast New Mexico, slowly tracking down to the south and east and giving us a good chance to see some showers overnight across most of the basin. Just regular showers here at this point. But as we go further on through the day, notice very, very heavy rainfall kicking off off to our east. Remember that big green pool of moisture for places like Austin, Abilene, generally dealing with more moisture to work with means generally stronger thunderstorms. I think most of that is going to set up off to the east, but with each run, of the model, it shows more and more moisture pushing off to the west. So if that trend continues, we could see a little bit of this strong thunderstorm activity currently over Abilene, according to this model, make its way into parts of the eastern basin, maybe Glasscock County, maybe barely as far west as Midland. So we've got the potential for that early, early tomorrow morning, say around 10 a.m. Now, as we get on into the afternoon time, those showers really don't let up. We're not talking about a whole lot of rain totals, but with this rain lasting for a pretty significant portion of the day, we could be dealing with some light, localized flooding. I think most of that chance is going to stay south of I-20 and for the most part right around the switch. Now, as we go further on into the evening, all that rain pushes more off to the east and it really, really picks up. So again, if we do start to see some of that rain here developing across the basin, uh, if it gives it enough runway, we could see some pretty strong thunderstorms. So we've got that marginal risk issued by the Storm Prediction Center for parts of our viewing area today into tonight. So maybe some shower chances, maybe some thunderstorm chances tonight, but I think tomorrow the main threat is going to be that rain developing here around the afternoon time. Now, most of that clears out by around 7 p.m., so I think as long as your trick-or-treat plans are after that, you should be okay for the rain, but it is going to be very, very cold. Notice those high temperatures yeah. barely picking up into the 60s, so make sure your costume includes a jacket. Stay warm out there, and uh, maybe a little hand warmers or something. So you said after 7 tomorrow night? After 7 tomorrow night, mostly everything will be cleared out okay. across the basin. I think most of the rain actually developing around 3 p.m., 4 p.m., which means we could be dealing with a small chance for hail maybe some damaging winds, but other than that, we should be okay, and it should, again, clear out by sundown. That's perfect timing. Just a little chilly for home. Very yes. chilly. Yes, and that's the perfect day to put on those heavy costumes, mm -hmm. you know, there usually you go. you're layering it up anyway. I All like right, the Jason. way you think. Thank you.